to uh, Nugagam at uh, Cinnamon uh, Grand Hotel. This evening we are hosting the travel agents and the tour partners who went to India on the road show with the Sri Lanka Tourism Development Authority and the board. Uh, the Honourable Minister and, and all the, the team that went uh, from the tourist board came for this evening. And this is actually an event organised by the, the travel agents and the tour partners who went um, to India together with uh, Cinnamon City Hotels. Um, to thank the minister and everyone else who helped us organize this great event. Um, our uh, requirement is also that we penetrate into our key source markets like this as much as possible and minister and, and the team has I think identified that, that requirement and we thank the minister and the team uh, and we expect uh, more and more events to happen like this. So thank you very much and have a great evening. It's also a fellowship for a great success that we had in India. Uh, thank you to everyone who is here. Uh, thank you to Cinnamon Grand uh, Hotel and also to the Cinnamon City Hotels. And also to everyone who is from the industry. Thank you for being here. It seems like I'm also part of this industry now. I've seen all of you so often. The success has been great. So India might see a lot of Sri Lanka and we might see a lot of Indians here, which is great. As he very rightly said, it's just a casual gathering. Just for our nostalgic moment, that we spent with each other the last few days. It was a hectic time. We have to thank our Honorable Minister, Honorable Mr. Arjun Fernando, Shalaka, Tisum, and of course Shirani and the rest. This is just a thanksgiving, remembrance. I am making a request from all of you today. I do want you all to come to Sri Lanka because it says you will never know until you go. So you need to go there. You need to come to Sri Lanka. We will arrange, make arrangements of our media people. We will make uh, arrangements for some fan trips. But like Jyoti said, we'll do that. Keep the numbers coming in because you will see, and I am assuring you, Sri Lanka is fully normal and there's no place than Sri Lanka, and I'm a proud Sri Lankan to say that. So I do, once again, thank everyone who are here today, and I think this is an engagement what we wanted our industry to do. So we got the industry here, so you have your contacts here. You may want to change your contacts sometimes, or find a new or better contact. That's all in the business. So that's what we have uh, done here today, and that's what the Sri Lankan Tourism Promotional Bureau uh, which is here and the convention, the Mice Market uh, uh, Convention Bureau also being present is trying to accommodate. friends from the industry and thank you for being here tonight. I think it has been a great event, uh, what we saw, a glimpse of everything what has happened uh, in India and also from my colleague Arinda, uh, what I got briefed after he came back is actually, it was a fun time, but also time to make some business as well. I think it's very important that we keep penetrating this message to the key source market, which is India, and it's great to see that Minister, Honourable Minister and the team has identified this as our priority and uh, whatever the support that we can give in terms of you know promoting our destination as Cinnamon City Hotels and Cinnamon Hotels and Resorts, we are always there to support. So thank you for organising this. It is very busy to do three cities, plan it all, within five days wasn't easy. The most negative thing that we have in the uh, public domain is that whether Sri Lanka is safe. Wherever that I can help, from my, my side of it, from the ministry side of it, we are always willing to go the extra mile. Uh, we're dedicated to work on this. As I say, my term is temporary, but uh, it's the industry that has to survive. So we need to fix a policy on promotion, on what we do. We have to get that agenda into our tourism policy, because when a minister changes, he changes the policy. That should not be the case. Uh, that, that has been the downfall of Sri Lanka, right? Throughout the 74 years, politics changes, policies when they change. So, but we need to have a national policy. So we need to have a tourism policy also. We are the people who are drawing us back. 
We are the people who say Sri Lanka is not safe. So we need our people also to have confidence. So actually today's event uh, coincides with uh, the trip that we uh, took to India on a road show to promote Sri Lanka. Uh, we were in New Delhi, we were in uh, Mumbai as well as in Hyderabad. Within five days we did three cities and about over 50 industry uh, hoteliers, travel agents, tour operators also participated on this road show which is Sri Lankan Tourist Ministry with the Promotional Bureau organized. So, uh, why we celebrate today was it's a great success. Um, we all got together just to promote Sri Lanka just after two months when everything was down and out for Sri Lanka just to get us back on the road map. Uh, and as a beautiful country as Sri Lanka, it's to say that it's open, it's safe for people to come, it's safe for tourists to start coming in. So we thought no better place to start than India because we have so many connections uh, to India. Uh, over 100 flights a week to India and it's a huge market, there's a big middle income families, over 230 million middle income, higher middle income families in India. So ideal market to pitch and uh, the industry people were quite uh, impressed with the entire setup that the Sri Lanka Tourism Ministry put. So it's just a fellowship uh, dinner, sort of a cocktail, just to celebrate the success because the bookings are keep coming in and we are hoping to again do three more cities in India before this year and also plan for the festive season that's coming up. So the hoteliers, the Colombo, how to make a positive note on Sri Lanka. So it is about uh, believing in ourselves and also asking the world to come and believe in us. And also we believe that if they see Sri Lanka, because there's so much of negative news that sometimes we accidentally even say it. So it's not the best ideal opportunity for uh, the tourism industry. So I hope uh, we discuss on the gravity of the situation and how we are going to overcome it. Uh, overall, things are looking good and it's a good conversation to have. And these are veterans from the industry as well. So they're quite pleased and I'm quite pleased as well. that we are very, very happy to be with the Cinnamon Group, the City Hotels and the rest of the hotels. We being Ceylon Tours, the company which is 76 years in existence. This road show that we have now conducted a few days ago, comprising of three major cities, Delhi, Mumbai and Hyderabad. We featured hotels like the Cinnamon City Hotels. We featured all the other interesting places of interest in Sri Lanka and many more other attractions that were taken by surprise to our Indian market. Because what we focused this time was not only the agents that were performing with Sri Lanka, but to all those new agents that we found came in from all these cities. Plenty of new people. And I think we are getting a terrific positive response at the moment. So I must say, I'm thankful to all of you to have even given us a lovely evening today and we have many more surprises to come. Hi to Hi TV. I'm Chalak Gajabao, Chairman of the Tourism Promotion Bureau. I just want to thank the industry for doing this felicitation uh, ceremony today. It's a huge, huge booster for us. It's, it's such a huge thing that, you know, the industry recognizes what we did in the last past week, uh, especially in India, covering Delhi, Mumbai and Hyderabad. It's a huge success. And then we are not going to stop here. We are going to continue to WTM in London uh, within the next three to four weeks. And after that, the next three cities in India, Kochi, uh, Chennai and Bangalore. So, you know, the success, We'll, uh, there's no point doing road shows if there are no results. So results will speak for itself. That's all I have to say. It's going to be an enjoyable evening. Thank you, Hi TV, and I thank you to the Cinema Grand Hotel today for organizing this and the industry for doing so. Thank you so much. I believe we had a very successful event in India. So this uh, today they have hosted us to thank us and to uh, talk about way forward. We'll be having uh, three more events in India, in Cochin, in uh, Bangalore and in Chennai. 
So we are looking forward to put up a good show again in India and bring back many tourists to Sri Lanka. Hi, uh, my name is Angelic and um, I'm uh, from Mastercard. We are actually here at this event as um, you know a part of helping the whole Sri Lankan economy with the whole tourism industry. And we've just done our part as global uh, business uh, to support the entire economy in terms of tourism. So we are also promoting uh, Sri Lanka as an inbound destination with markets in India, Maldives and Bangladesh to drive um, the whole uh, inbound tourism to revive the economy. So just doing us part and really happy to see the, um, the industry taking the lead to be along with the whole tourist board and the hotel associations uh, to kind of lead this initiative. Um, thank you and wishing all the best and really hoping for a positive outcome from this. I'm Janit Tabiasekara. I represent the Sri Lankan travel fraternity uh, named Slito. We had a successful event last week in India covering three major cities, which was a long due promotional requirement to boost Sri Lankan tourism in India. So this time with the travel fraternity, we were able to cover these cities and special thanks to the Sri Lankan tourism for organizing this in such short notice, which was a much needed promotion. All we want to achieve this time was to tell in a uniform message, Sri Lanka is safe. <coughs> Sri Lanka needs the support of all travel partners around the world, especially India. As, a, as one team, we went there. We went there to promote only one message. Sri Lanka is safe and we are there to assist you. We never spoke about our individual companies or individual uh, aspirations. We all want Indians to come to Sri Lanka, spread the word of mouth saying that Sri Lanka is safe. We worked as one team. We invited all our travel partners to make sure that the word goes around, word goes beyond boundaries and it will go to the end consumer which actually makes the decision. So with, as a one team, I think we achieved great success in India and now we are reaping the benefits of it. We again will go to other city, more cities in India and worldwide and promote Sri Lankan tourism and hospitality as one team, as one nation to build our country forward and to have a very strong tourism market for Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm.